All right, we have no more bricks here with his awesome Star Wars display. So what's going on here? Um, well, I just want to, you know, give a, give a little scene so I have Minecraft zombies. Nice. Trying to take over. With the gun the, guns. Yeah. Gun so gun. the gun guns are supposed to help Darth Jar Jar. Oh. If you can see right there. Yeah. So just to make it more canon, you know? <laughs> and then uh, they also captured the Lego movie characters. And they went through the portal. Yeah, they went through the portal. Came out the wrong side. How many stormtroopers are here? Um, including the the heavy gunners. Yeah. I want to say almost 200. Oh. How long did it take you to make this? Oh boy, my favorite question. So uh, it took me about six to eight months. I started off with a blueprint, and it did not look like this. Oh. Yeah. What are these guys? Oh, these are my um, first order mechs. So I pretty much took the Pokebuster frame and one of the Stormtroopers and try to mesh them together. Oh. Yeah. Is there an interior here too? Oh yes. Would you like to see? Sure. So now we're going to open the, the inside. Wow. Check this out. This is the command center of the base. Who's that? Oh look, it's Dick. <laughs> Richard's dad. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. That looks so pretty scanning. much. Yeah. Awesome, right? Um, also, here is the main hallway that you can see it from the outside. All right. And over here we have the interrogation chambers and other control ports. And over here, yeah. just for fun, is oh, Emmett. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. And everything slides out, so it's awesome. All right, we have Andrea from Port City Bricks with the huge Armageddon building. <laughs> but what is this really? It is the Nice Land apartment building from the movie Wreck-It Ralph. Awesome. And I see we have some stats here. Yeah. So four months to build, 50,000 pieces. Wow. And so what are some of the cool features that we should know about? Um, one of my favorite parts is probably the window assembly. There are about 30 pieces in every single window all right. on all the buildings. What are the different colors of the, the brick here? We have red, dark red, reddish brown, and dark orange. Yeah. And this is awesome. Can you pick it up, please? Yep. Ralph. And so how did uh, you create Ralph? Uh, we looked at a, a couple different figures, uh, Disney Infinity figures and stuff like that, and Jeremy took it and used, made a mini figure face for him and just hand painted him from a Hulk. Nice. And here is the comparison, so that's Ralph, and there's the nice land apartment. So, awesome. Anything else? There's a size comparison there. Cool. So here we got Brickzar and Brickzar's creation right here. So what do we have here, Brickzar? This is a Lego set from 1961. 1961, wow. Yes, it is the town plan set 725. There's a few extra items in here that don't belong. Uh, the car garages, 18 van. So everything's in white and red. Is there a? Is that like the only colors they use? White, red, and green. This set has white, red, and gray. The, the base plate or the brick plate, brick plate is a brick was not used. It also has trans clear. And then you got some blue, but it's on gas pump. It's uh, oh, yeah. What do you think it is, Rob? That's cool. And the the hard it's thing with the, these the older sets is that sometimes they didn't all have the same, exact same pieces. Days, you might get a different car or a different tree. That's just that's weird that these are Lego cars. I can show you on the underside. Yeah, uh, Where am I looking at? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's so small. It's hard to see. Yeah, we need more light. That's cool. What about what do we have here? Your color chart? Yeah, this is my color chart. It's, I got about 70 or so different bricks. They're all two by four bricks, all with the Lego logo on top of them. Do you have the new colors? I don't What's your newest? I don't know, like Friends or. Yeah, Alex. some of the Friends blues are new. The, the uh, flesh okay. color is new. Yeah. Um, 
I'm trying to think of the ones that I bought recently. The Trans Black is not a new one, but it's a new one to me. And my phone is <laughs> All right, so. Very good. <laughs> We got these creepy looking characters. Yeah, I brought those specifically for you. <laughs> because you were talking about them being creepy looking. So I made my sig fig. Yes, with out the of glasses. It. But you and said that was a woman, right? Well, the the, 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 the the only glasses figure actually looks better with the lady with the okay. gray hair. Yeah, yeah. So it's technically a woman, yeah. but that's the only glasses they have in that. And you said this is an exclusive. This is Star Wars set. The uh, just came out today. Yes, the space slug that's eating the Millennium Falcon. Oh yeah, it's, in micro scale. Right. So, and that's pretty cool. Uh, you just you have to be invited to get that one. Did um, they might be bricks? Just build this quickly, or did you build this? Actually, I built half of it, and he came up, and he's like, "Let me finish." So he finished it. <laughs> I didn't show you my garage door. I no, no. Show you, no. I gotta show you. All right, you said there was one more thing. Yeah, I want to show you this. This is uh, operating feature here. You push this lever oh. down, and the oh. door opens, and the car can drive into the garage, and then you close it. Wow, they were ahead of their time back then. Yes. I take. I'm not the tree. Like okay, we have another ride from the haunted fairground, and this is the seesaw made by Kevin Up, the original minifigure. Yes. So what do we have here? What are the different features? Well, I. Uh, Try to make it like it was abandoned, um, and there is an entrance right here where people are getting on the ride. Oh, nice! nice. Yeah. Uh, here, this is the exit. So, it's the thing is, people are entering, but they'll never, never exit again. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so nobody's using the exit. So, whatever happens on the ride, well, you know, you can guess. And you're from Norway. How did this travel all the way from Norway to Philadelphia? It was pretty easy. It, it uh, packs pretty well. You just uh, Take the I put the boat in a in a in a suitcase. Uh, yeah, or in a like a, a cardboard box. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, and then all of the structure around it just flat packed, and that was nice, it. Nice. And I'll take some footage of this later on when it's moving, because all these parts move. And there's Haley in the background. All right, here we have Patrick and Riley from building. Actually, it's building for data with Riley, but that's Patrick and Riley. And we have a few mocks here. So what's the first mock we have? This is our Janus Jam factory. Okay. Um, very long build. It's an industrial building. It took me about, um, I believe, about six months to build. But we'll go ahead and show you the yeah. inside. So this is like an office here? Yeah, this is her. This is the president of the Jam factory, the sales department, a boardroom, copy machine. President business, yeah. Oh, yes. This is when you, uh, here's the lobby. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Yeah, oh, jam. that is the um, gift shop for the jam factory. This is the world's uh, biggest jar of jam. It's cool. the receptionist. Uh, we got bathrooms, employee lounge. Oh, we it's moved it's on to the production yeah. floor of the jam. The jam comes through here. These are rinse areas All right. where the fruit goes down into the crushers, out into the distillers, into the production line, and into the um, empty jars here to fill them up. And then they get litted, and then they get shipped out uh, into the rest of the uh, Lego world. Or in here. Oh, oh. It's okay. <laughs> and right. here we have all the jam being created away. Being shipped out. Then we have our first mock ever, our Subway sub. Did you know Chloe's inside There's Chloe from Three Brick Friends <laughs> getting a sub. And you got a, how'd you get the torso? The torso is actually a sticker. Okay, nice, nice. And then what's this? This is a, not, this is one is not detailed on the inside, but this is our modern house. It's actually based off a house in Tempe, Arizona, hence yeah. the palm trees. But it was a, a modern house that I fell in love with. Um, got the pool in the back here. There's a bunch of windows you can literally see through the real house and this one. Cool. Uh, <laughs> and this is like a little diving room. That's like the little, um, yeah, where you get ah, into the yeah. pool. I like it. And then we have all of our two blood members. Uh, everybody in here is a real person, um, except the bartender <laughs> and the band. <laughs> but this is the empty mug. This is our uh, bar tavern. We have the secret poker room. Yeah. We have the keg room. We have the band uh, rocking out, pool tables. We got our taps here, working taps. The chrome taps. Yeah, so they can uh, pour the drinks. Then our, last, then our last one is our farm setup. We have built our barn where we have it tiled up and down to reflect uh, wood. I like this. This is, yeah, this is a harvest store. It's a little bit different than a silo, but it's the same concept. 
Um, they and they all uh, they are all blue. And we got Riley showing you an owl up there. <laughs> and then we also have our little chicken coop here. We got chickens inside. We got the chicken guy inside. <laughs> nice. Just to be funny. Got the pig pen. We got the pigs. Yep, out in the yard getting all muddy. <laughs> Very we got a cool. thing of corn, some pumpkins, some flowers, and some carrots. Nice. Awesome. And some animals. And some animals. Oh, yeah. Bunnies. All right, we got Brick Revolution with the awesome baseball stadium. So, tell me about this, like, Scott. What are some cool features here? All right, so it's on 49 10 by 10 or 32 by 32 base plate. All right. It, all bricks apart, it's all connected by Technic. Mm -hmm. Fun thing to do and transport is over 620 seats. Wow, you got a bullpen over here. There are two bullpens. Two bullpens. Mm -hmm. Center field, those doors swing open. So these do, in fact, swing open. And I see you got billboards there with the advertisement. Yep, we got some business cards. We got Ocean Brick Fire, Brick Smith. Howie stuff, string cheese and applesauce, bricks anywhere, picking bricks, bricks on the dollar, ball and balling. Nice. So what are your are you are you planning on expanding this? For sure, for sure. Right now we got where Tim Tam's hanging out. We're gonna bust <laughs> out another row of base plates all around there wow. to build up, but that's not gonna be for a while. You're gonna need more tables. I'm gonna need more tables <laughs> and a bigger house. <laughs> cool, cool. Alright, we got picking bricks here. What's going on guys? With How an you awesome doing? display. Can you tell me about your display? We got a uh, classic space, guys. This is all early, uh, early 80s, mid, <clears throat> excuse me, mid 80s classic space. Uh, we got some black tron here, one black tron there. Um, this little setup over here, that's clutches. That all the little black tron guys here, they're all clutches. But this is all pulled off of bulk bins. I found all the stuff in bulk bins, kind of tossed away. Nobody wanted it. I went in, grabbed it, put all the sets together, and this is what you see in front of you guys right cool. now. So it's a, it's a very nostalgic kind of kind of setup here. Here's another classic. Yep, the classic castle instructions. All the figs. It's usually it's very rare to kind of to find all the figs with the castle. I this do is seventies or eighties. This is seventies. This 70s. is like seventy-eight. Yeah, seventy-eight wow. for this one right here. Um, then we move on over to my mini oh. rock off. Of, oh, look at me! I'm a winner. What's last this? night. That was from bowling last night. Awesome. Yep. Speed build bowling. We built the. Uh, well, this is part of it, but there's the Santa's uh, Santa's workshop. Oh, the second one. Yeah, yeah we, we left already. We built that already, so we're gonna do a parts draft for that. But this is my mock-up of mini mock-up of Brickburg, New York. Nice. So, oh, you brought the comic shop. I brought the comic uh, shop. Yep. Unfortunately, I wish you guys could see the top, but there, it, I did do the apartment on the inside. I think you guys, some of you guys, have saw that already. Got the food trucks down here. Metro Liner is functional. It'll be running around later. We'll have the Metro Liner running around. Um, some Disney figs in the front there, and then all the Sig figs. We got a Sig fig campground over here, so this is all the Sig figs. We got an old camper, newer camper. We got a tractor, just a little bit of everything. So we're having a blast here, Philly Brick Fest 2016. Nice. And you got the you got the posters. Too. We do got the banner too. We got our we got a banner. We got all legit. Now we got a banner. Got that just looks like uh, your videos, the backdrop. Yep, it is the backdrop <laughs> for my videos. Clutch wanted me to bring them, so we got That's all awesome. 20 some brick swag. Awesome. So. All right, we have Martin from TMX Brick Notes with his awesome display here. Can you tell me about what, you, what we're seeing? Yeah, definitely. So I brought a portion of my city. These are brick-built roads. Oh, yeah, the brick-built roads. And the median and the turn lane. Uh, this is the same width as a gray base plate, 48 studs. These over here are just like a regular 32 stud base plate. And they're all brick-built, even the intersections. Cool. And then I brought a few buildings, a restaurant, and the inside has stuff going on. Oh, nice. Yeah. And some so, sick figs, familiar faces. You bet. And then the back of the house is the kitchen and everything. Nice. And then next up, we've got a hardware store. Is this interior done too? Oh, yeah, all of these for sure. I love to do the inside of all the buildings. Door shut over there. <laughs> cool. And then next up is the very first building I did for my city. It's a post office. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. And one thing I love is these. Right? Yeah, and you got the PO boxes. So you can put the letter through the through there. Yeah, it goes all the way through. And it the comes back. out the back. Nice. My fingers are too big for that. <laughs> and then a bank. This was the second building I made for the city. 
Cool, cool. And finally, uh, an accounting office because I'm an accountant. So. All right. And this is modern bricks yes. creation. And then she steals the show here with her modern museum and the sculpture in the park that she just finished. Is the interior done here too? Oh, you bet. Let me pop this off. There's some really, really cool wow. art on the inside. Look at that. You might recognize a Mondrian type painting over here. And then through the middle here, they tell a story like night and day. And oh, that's so cool. Had a lot of fun. And then all the mini figs are sig figs. I'm sorry, I don't have a brick adjuster oh, sig thing in here. I need to get one though, for sure. And this is also Tiffany's, right? Oh yeah, yeah, if you wanna look at more of this. Uh, like a Lego Friends, a uh, pirate ship, a brick built Victoria's Secret bag. Her evolution of gaming, these are all of the oh, gaming systems yeah. that she yeah, has played in her life. Some other jewelry and wearable jewelry and that's cool. other cool stuff. You bet. All right, thanks. All right, this is Bricks for Chris's city here. With this huge tower that goes up and up and up and up. Yeah, there's a brick adjuster in there. We got chilies. This was from a design, right? Chilies? Chilies up here. And if you guys don't know, this one used to be, I think this is Chris's first uh, avatar with Incredible Hulk. He has a pet shop. And he has a church. Are you helping me out, little buskis? What about this? It's a big brick bank. With an expanded... Shot. So it expands all the way around. Ocean brick fire and they might be bricks was staging this yesterday to make it all nice. And it's really good. We have Baba Bricks here with um, a great display. What do we have here? Um, I, I have my my expanded city museum okay. uh, that I brought last year, so I brought it back this year. There's a little Scooby-Doo scene going on there in the front with Mr. T. Uh, my city park. Uh, the constable's having a little trouble here this morning. This is new. Uh, no, I brought this last year too. Okay. Uh, I finished the Italian eatery from yeah, last year. Yeah, I remember. Um, so it's a, it's a lot more. Um, the interior is all done now. We're fine. Um, and then this year I brought um, the sports shop. Okay. Um, and actually, if it, this one, I spent a lot of time on the inside. And it's a bike shop. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. And then as we travel further down the city, uh, we got uh, my mother-in-law uh, pool hall. This is Cat Lady Bricks. Cool. Uh, she built that. Oh, this is Kelly's. Uh, and this is Ke yeah, this comic is Kelly's book. comic shop. It's awesome. The interiors are done in both of these two. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Here's the top. All right. It's a uh, like, little apartment. There's a nice uh, fireplace on this side here. Nice. And the pool hall on the bottom. Ooh, look at that. Did a very good job. Looks like the pool hall from last night. Yeah. <laughs> and I get nervous opening her stuff. So. Yeah, you don't want to. This is her, her uh, school uh, from last year. Uh, she just kind of. Oh, you got a micro uh, brick box. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that was from the Brick Builders brick Club box. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are cool. And then her drive in. Um, is this the same from last year or has it changed? It? Uh, it, she condensed it a little bit for space. But okay, okay. So it's it's going to be spread out. <laughs> and then Cat Lady Bricks has this amazing lighthouse scene Seascape. with a ton, with a ton of detail. Nice, nice. Cool. This is my Harry Potter Clue uh, set that I made, or mock that I made. Um, kind of inspired by this luxury clue edition that they have where it's all 3D and recessed rooms. And I have the clue, uh, Harry Potter clue board game. And the tiles are the same size as the spaces for the game, so I all thought right. 
Why not? Have you tried playing minute. this? Not this yet, because <laughs> I think it is though. Do you need cards? I don't even. I yes, don't, the okay. cards I'm gonna make, um, just like my custom. So I'm gonna take pictures of the Harry Potter figs and put it in the background. So that's my next project for this. I didn't build that. And this is your <laughs> your Declan. Declan. Talk about your, what is that, Declan? That is my. Head. Yeah, that is cool. Awesome. For what? For school? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a school project. Yeah, brought that into school. They had these on display. They had to do reports for first grade. That's cool. So I said, you know what, we do Lego instead of... All right, here we got Brick Lover 18's creation here. Can you tell me about what we have here? So over here on this side, we have my custom police station with a couple yeah, of police cars up front. In the center sort of the city, we have just, you know, a park and a shopping area with a couple of Lego sets as well as some modified... Lego sets and just a lot of minifigures chilling around. Nice. Over here we have a custom hospital which I actually used the police station, in one of the latest ones to build. Next to that is the FAO Schwartz from That's New York cool. City. I like that. Unfortunately it's closed now. But yes. <laughs> a couple other things. We have President Business and his entourage, you know, arriving. Looks like he's falling down for the day. He's tired like the rest of us. The Palace Cinema, and then instead of like Times Square, it's actually Tile Square. Ah, I have a little street sign there. I like that kind of some advertisements that aren't really advertisements, I just put them up, but then we have the Grand Emporium, custom Lego store, detective's office. I like that roller coaster. And the roller coaster, yeah. Is that Lego, the, roller coaster the track? track? No, that's from BrickCoaster.com. Okay. I think they make it sort of the same way It's as compatible. Lego, it's completely compatible, yeah. That's awesome. And then the Ferris wheel, which motorizes throughout the day. Yeah. Shuts off every 15 minutes, so that's very frustrating. <laughs> then I have the Bricks Tower with and the NCIS building and my brick badge. I like this too. Oh, my <laughs> the play button. button. Well, you get one every 100,000 subscribers, so I'm a little bit away from that. So I decided <laughs> you just keep I just changing, keep changing the number. Yeah, every milestone I just change the number. <laughs> Makes me feel special. All right, we have OBFD here with all his creations. So I know we have a fleet of vehicles here. What, what do you want to talk about? What's cool? I don't know what do you want to talk about. What's, uh, what's up here? I like the pink one. Thank you. I've seen that one before yeah. on the stream. Yes. Oh, tell me the secret ones that you're always like, oh, I'm making a secret one. No, I can't talk ones. about it. Show the secret ones, the new ones. Not over here. Oh, yeah, this one. White Magic, a oh, nice. uh, Chevy Silverado. All right. Uh, there is a Mac Superliner Road Train. Nice. Oh, this way. So those were made this year. Here we have a Ford L8. This is new also? Yeah, this is new. Nice. The Baja DeLorean, that was this ah, week's build. This week's? Yeah, this week's. Fast. And yeah, that's the secret builds. <laughs> Those are the secret ones. Yeah. The ones that you're like, oh, I wonder if I should show it on the stream. Yeah. Cool.